Good Wednesday evening to you, Richard Scott here for the forecast update. Warm for the next couple of days, then bitter cold air coming in on Friday. And it will stay cold, looks like, for at least a few days. Here's a look at radar that's recording about 940 on this Wednesday night. Things looking mostly dry, although there has been some drizzle here or there. Hard to see that on radar. You can see that on the composite mode a little bit better over the southeast. But again, there's still a lot of clouds over Alabama, and conditions are increasingly muggy. Probably notice that increase in moisture today. Not a lot of rain, though. Most areas not reporting a drop, but we had a Haleyville and Alexander City and Meridian report 100 to an inch of rain, which is hardly enough to measure. Basically, that was some drizzle that moved across the area. Here's a look from Tuscaloosa, and it's amazing. We're approaching 10 o'clock at night at 64 outside wind. Uh, the east-southeast at about 5 to 10. We got low 60s all across the board. The dew points are also in the low 60s, so it is pretty humid out there. And in response to that high dew point, not going to get near as cold tonight. In fact, a low 60s for Tuscaloosa and Vernon, Silicon areas to the south. Could have some upper 50s up around Haydenville, Coleman, and Gadsden. Certainly some cold air building up north, and that is coming our way in a big manner. We're going to notice that as going to Friday and Saturday here in Alabama, even on Sunday as well. Here's a future cast against scattered showers possible overnight during the day tomorrow as well. Not going to rain all day, but there's a pretty good chance for some showers, especially over West Alabama uh, during the afternoon and evening hours. But the heavier rain comes in tomorrow night. And that continues into early on Friday. And our computer models really backed off on any idea of winter weather with this. Looks like all rain for Alabama. Again, that's Friday morning, turning sharply colder behind the front. You see all the wintry weather north of us up towards Nashville and, and uh, points northeast from there towards uh, Dayton, Ohio. Looks like should get some snow out of this Friday afternoon. But again, it's going to be cold here, cloudy. Temperatures will be dropping rapidly. Now, we'll hit a high in the 50s on Friday. Uh, could touch 60 on Friday. That'll be at sunrise, turning sharply colder. Lunchtime, we should be in the 30s, so it's going to get a lot colder here in Alabama. And again, there could be a few flurries for northern Alabama. I don't think this is a big deal at all. Looks like maybe up around Jasper and Coleman and Hamilton and Gadsden. This all be north of Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. But don't be surprised to see a few snowflakes up there. Uh, that'll be Friday evening into Friday night. The better chance for anything accumulating will be well north of our local area. Forecast tonight, low near 60, cloudy, few isolated showers. Tomorrow, pretty good chance for some showers, primarily over West Alabama, and primarily late in the day. A high of 70 tomorrow, so it is going to be a warm day, but it changes again Friday. Don't let the high fool you. That's going to happen right at 6 a.m. After that, it's going to be much colder. We'll be in the 30s during the midday hour into the afternoon. We'll stay in the 30s all day on Saturday and Sunday. I do expect some uh, drier conditions moving. Still some clouds on Saturday. Should clear out late in the day. Plenty of sun on Sunday. 20 by Sunday morning. If you're north of Tuscaloosa and north of Birmingham, you'll be in the teens. And a uh, tad warmer on Monday, upper 40s. And so then another surge of cold air coming in. By Tuesday and Wednesday, could stay below 40 all day. Look for temperatures back at the teens by Tuesday night.